G'day guys, welcome back. The time has come for me to use my new mold that I made. If you missed the video on how I made this gorgeous creature, it's um it's on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. Now, colours. I thought, oh geez, I couldn't decide. I wanted to do white and silver, which I will do, but I'm not going to do it today. And then I thought, I still want to do silver because I've done a lot with the gold edging, but I want to do silver today. And then I thought, what about like this silvery blue kind of a colour with some white and silver uh, leaf? So that's what I'm going to do. And I am using the Barnes Clarity. And I mixed it up and I've been letting it sit for the last uh, maybe seven minutes or so. I don't know if it's focusing. But anyway, the bubbles have all but gone. So, yay. Um, and I've decided I'm going to start doing this, letting my resin just sit for, I don't know, maybe up to 10 minutes. Um, while I'm... Um, just go and do a few other things and then come back and talk to you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, so I've got, I'm going to use Artie Sue today. This one is called, I don't know how to pronounce it, Palladium. Palladium blue. It's just a silver blue. I don't even know if I've opened it. Nope, I haven't even opened it yet. Hang on, let me go and open it over here, away from the mould. So, yeah. Pretty, huh? Silvery blue, nothing too bright. This one is also by Artie Sue. It's pearl white. And I've been using a lot of this because I actually don't have white in another brand. I'll have to have a look and get some. Right, and then my silver leaf. Open it carefully so nothing falls out. There it is. <laughs> Fly away stuff. All right, so those are my colours. Um, now, I'm going to put the um, pigment powder in first. So the silver blue, I'm just going to put around the outside. So don't want a lot of it. And then the white, and then fill it up with clear. So I want a lot of clear, not much colour. And I'm hoping to get a clear centre. So I actually don't know how strong these pigments are. As in... You know how some are just stronger than others? I'm going to do a heap spoon because I'm just not sure how strong they are. Some colours, some brands, you only need a little bit and then others you need a little bit more. So I want the only thing with, with not putting enough pigment in, um, sometimes you just get the colour that kind of floats on the top. Um... I haven't to show you. I was going to show you. All right, I'm going to put some resin in on top of those. I'm just going to do half a cup to start with because I don't, as I said, I don't need a lot just to go around the edges. And then a half a cup of the white. Now with these little silver things, I find that I have to... Just separate them. If they're still like in a book, so to speak, where they've all been laid flat and they're kind of all stuck together, I find it's a good idea to just try and separate them. Otherwise, you get clumps. Probably shouldn't be doing this near my mould. All right. I think that'll do. Once I put my resin in and <clears throat> squish it down, it'll... It will compact. I'm just going to put the lid on that before everything flies away. They're so light. It's like feathers. It gets everywhere. Okay, so that's that. And I'm going to pour some resin in on top of that. Probably also a half a cup to start with. Mm, oh, need some more. That's not half a cup. Here we go. That's about half a cup. 
<clears throat> and I want to, oh, gee, it's a lot. I always make up so much of this. I only need a tiny little bit for the middle. And I make up all this. It's way too much. I'm going to try and break it up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I always make up so much. It's redonkulous. I'm going to stir it up really well because I don't want big clumps. Just little bits. I must learn not to use so much because, you know, it's expensive and then I've got way too much. So that's it there. Um, that's for my clear. Let's mix this. Oh, I don't know what happened here. I did have the resin over the top of the pigment powder, but it's, it's all floated to the top. So I want more white than blue. So I think what I'll do is I'll make up a little bit more of this white. So I want mainly a white coaster with just a little hint of blue. Um, and then a little bit of silver in the middle. And then I'll get my silver um, enamel paint to do the outside. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Actually, I probably don't need any more pigment. I just need some more resin. And you can be clear. It's a good idea to decant some of it out of your big jug because it can um, it hardens faster apparently if it's in a big container and there's a lot of it all together. Hope I've got enough blue. I might add a little bit more of the um, resin, just a little bit. Actually, it's still only about half a cup. I must have put less in. I'm having so much fun with the resin, you guys. You all started trying it. Those people that have been following me for a while with my acrylic pouring, I know some of you have started to do a few resins so far. Are you enjoying it? I've seen some coasters pop up on my page. Uh, that's the other thing. Oh, feel free to join my um, my pouring group on Facebook. Pouring your heart out. The link is below and I suggest if you want to join my group, use the link below because there are other groups with similar names. And you might end up in the wrong group. I'm going to add just a touch more. So yeah, just use the link below and uh, join my group. I'd love to see your creations. And I just have a feeling that, see, I don't know. I don't know that much about pigments, but you guys may be able to help me with pigment powders. Are they all just like natural pigments or do some companies put fillers in? So you might think, oh, that's a really big container, <clears throat> you know, of the RT Sue. Is it the same quality pigment as, you know, something that's in a smaller container? Are they all the same? Or is this just, you know, this was a bit cheaper. Is it, has it got more fillers in it, which means you need more? You know what I mean? Oh, geez, I'm having trouble stirring these in. Come on, you can do it. Stir in. I, I don't know. But um, we shall see what the strength of the pigments are once I've poured these out. Got to get all those little bits of powder mixed in. Just fast forward me stirring here, guys. I can't stop take my gloves off, pause the camera, put my gloves back on again, stir, take my gloves off, unpause the camera, put my gloves back on again. I don't want to put them on and off very often because then, um, you know, I run the risk of touching my skin with resiny gloves. Oh, I've still got some in there, little powders. Actually, probably what's a good idea, and I should probably start doing this, put the mica pigment powder in first with a little bit of resin and mix it into a paste and then add the rest of the resin. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Let's do that next time. Can you remind me please? Oh look at that colour. Oh I love this. Okay um, I think I'm pretty good to go now. Way too much silver flake but anyway. Right let's get this going. So and don't you love my mold? Oh I'm so happy with it. Love it. 
and I used um, some masking tape. <clears throat> I just broke off some masking tape and I laid it in there, um, you know, and picked up all the bits of fluff. Did that a few times, picked up all the bits of fluff. Because it doesn't matter what you do, you end up with fluff in your moulds. It's just in the air, you know, fluff, bits of dust. It's just in the air. Now, I oh, hope I haven't put too much of this colour on. I'm trying to just put a little bit on. Now, the edges of this mould, they're kind of like um, natural rock because I made the mould myself. So they're not smooth up and down edges. They're kind of rocky. They look very natural. And that's what I love about these moulds. I am going to do another one. Um, because this was my first real attempt at it. So it's they're a tiny bit big and they're a tiny bit too deep. They're probably about 8mm deep. I'm going to have another go, make them just a touch smaller and just try and stick to 6mm deep. I think that's enough. These, these just feel a little bit chunky for me, um, being the 8mm deep. So I'm going to have another go at making my own. I'll still use this one. I don't know, I said maybe one of the local girls might want to buy this one from me. But, you know, I keep learning and I keep doing better. And as we do, you know, we get better at things. And I'm going to have another stir at this because I can see a few little powders on top. I'm going to make sure that it's all mixed really, really well. Okay, so now a white puddle in the middle. If you're using little cups like these, these are four ounce cups, 120 mils, don't overfill them, like don't pour them more than half full because then you have trouble pouring them out and it all just runs down the side if it's too full. So you're better off just doing half full. Okay, um, do I want more white? Hmm. I'm not sure if I do or not. Let's pour some clear into the middle. Actually, maybe I'll do a little bit more. Does it? Actually, doesn't bother me if I don't have a clear center in these. Um, I just want to have a little bit of silver, even if I end up doing a like a flood coat later on with some silver leaf in it. I might do that. Let me wipe my hands. Got my little baby wipes handy to wipe my handies. Um, and all right, here we go with the clear into the middle I don't know why it's all going that way Let me put a stick under here oops sorry looking my tripod my tripod's right there oh, hang on, can't do it I need help help Can someone jump down and help me I can't lift this up there we go. I'm going to put a stick under it. I will just zoom you now that I'm around the back here anyway. I think it's nice to be zoomed in a little bit. Okay, here we go. I was careful not to get resin on my skin. Alrighty, now some more clear. Yeah, as I said, I'm not too fussed about the clear centre. What's it all running over there? Mustn't be level. So it's basically, have, I'm putting half a cup. Oh, I had, what did I have? About three quarters of a cup full of clear. So I'm pouring, I don't know, just over half. Just under half into each. <clears throat> Just basically pouring it out until it covers the edges. It looks very pretty.
whoops, dripping. Now, are you going to stay like that or are you going to move? Not sure. Now, a bit more clear in all of them, bring them up a little bit more to the height that I want. And then I'm going to put my silver in on top. So they do hold a lot of resin, these coasters. Uh, what did I make up? I made <clears throat> 550 grams for these. Oh, loving those colours. Love it when you get these gorgeous patterns happening. Don't know, you always get, uh, I do, I get these little bits floating on top. Well, not floating, it look, kind of looks like an oil slick. Does anyone know what that is? Looks like an oil slick sitting on top. I don't know what it is. Give it a torch, popping bubbles. Not that there were many bubbles, because um, there was hardly any bubbles in it to begin with. Okay, so what have I got? I'll make sure that I've kept a little bit of clear for after I put the silver on. Now the best way to put your silver in, I have found, is with a spoon. Let me just wipe my spoon. Because it's had white mica on it. And look, I've made way too much. And I always say to myself, don't put too much in the centre. Okay, you don't need a lot. And I've got way too much. So I'm going to do a teaspoon. And I'm going to put a little bit of clear on that just to kind of push it out a touch. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. Way too much. It's a pity you can't save it. Hey, oh, that's a lot. I really like how the silver flakes just kind of float. It's not like the glitter where it just sinks. It kind of floats around. I think I've got too much in this one. I wonder if I can get some out. It just looks a little bit too, a bit too clumpy. There we go. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of clear ever so gently over the top of that. Just to break it up a touch. Because it's kind of mounding in the middle there now. And I need it to flatten out. I'm going to have to poke it with my stick because it's poking through the surface. Okay, here we go. Break up that little blob a bit. I think I've got too much in this one as well. And kind of stick to each other. Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that because I could have dripped. All right, a little bit more resin, clear resin. Um, and you can be poked down a bit. I don't want to move it too much because I don't want to lose my pretty patterns that I'm starting to get in the resin. Still got way too much in you. Why have you got so much? Less is more. Hey, okay. I ended up with such a lot of silver in this one. I don't know why. <clears throat> All right, a little bit more clear. Just spread it a little bit. My white's kind of drifting in over the top there. I don't know why it does that. Only on a certain area. It hasn't done it everywhere, just on half of it. Break up that silver a little bit. Break you up a little bit too. I should try and do my silver first 
and then just put a little bit of clear on uh, well do most of my um, clear first because I'm just pushing it all out let's bring it back into the middle a little bit you're okay you're okay looks like we're gonna we might lose the the silver see how the patterns going over the top there I do want to add more clear though to fill them up but in doing that I'm moving my silver away oh. see I've done this before and I thought to myself now I've got to put the silver finish with the clear first most of the clear Okay, so now this is where I need more silver because I've just pushed all the silver away. I'll just put a little little blob in the middle. Because now I've yeah, pushed it all away with my clear. Okay. Now I need to separate that again. See the problem I'm having? So I need to basically put in all my, my clear first that I want to use to almost fill the, the coasters, the moulds. And then do the silver. Okay, so I've got a tiny little bit left, hardly anything. I'm going to use this up now. That was pretty good measurements, Julie. 500 and 555 to be exact. 555 grams to be exact. All right, now you're full, you're full, you're full. You could do with a little bit more. See, now I'm moving my silver again, pushing it out to the edges. All right, it's, it's just practice, hey? You know, you guys know I'm new at this. I'm learning, so I have to remember. Finish up with the clear first. Fill your coasters pretty much to where you want them. And then add your silver. Otherwise, when you add your clear on top, it's just pushing them, pushing all your silver away again. Isn't it? This is doing something really weird. See, I've got a dark edge, then I can see the white, and then I've got this bluish over the top, which is really weird. Now, which one needs a bit more? You still need a bit more. Hardly got any left. I did wait. I wait. Well, you know, as as you know, I waited ten minutes for my bubbles to settle, and I thought maybe that was enough to let the resin thicken a little bit. But it's probably not. Don't scrape if you're using the um, cups with the wax. Don't scrape because then you get residue. Waxy residue on the top of your coasters. So don't do that. Just want to get everything out that I can get out. How are they looking, you guys? Have their equal amounts now. Okay. So with my cup, what I do is I get, um, well, my jug, I get um, paper towel and I wipe it out with paper towel first. And then I wipe it out with my baby wipes. Um, and then I just leave it. And I uh, use it the next day. So yeah right let's torch again so i can see a few little bubbles sitting on top now there there are i can see there's a few little bits of silver poking their way through the top like you can just see them sitting there i don't know whether or not you could feel them but you can kind of see them i'll take you down for a close-up in a minute this isn't exactly what i was envisaging guys i was envisaging more of a white coaster but the blue has definitely taken over
I don't know whether that's a flake or whether that's a hair. Oops, now I've made it. Okay, I don't think I've got any bits of fluff or anything in it. One more little torch. But we shall see what happens when it all stops moving and settling. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to start waiting for my resin to actually start sort of setting up and hardening before I put my metals in, my centres. Um, that way it doesn't move so much and maybe I can get a bit more of a clear centre. But let's um, I'll bring you down for a close-up. You can see what you think of these. Because they will keep on moving. Oops, now I've got to just, I'm going to go around this way. <laughs> oh, I've still got the <laughs> tripod in the way. Right, now we're just going to have to excuse the light, the ring light. Let's have a little look. Have a look at the edges. See how the edges are still a dark? This one's got a little bit more white in it. I think I did add a bit more white to that one, didn't I? But it's making these really pretty little effects. You can see the edge there, how it's the blue, and then it's the white underneath. It's kind of sunk. And then this blue on top is kind of floating around on top. It's pretty, but can't really see the the silver in the middle. I'm going to have to work on how I can get my center to be clear so that you can see the the silver. It just takes practice, doesn't it? But until you actually have a go, you don't know that maybe it doesn't work the way you wanted it to work. So oops, there's that awful ring light. So anyway, there they are, and um, we will do the unmolding tomorrow, see what happens. Um, but yeah, maybe I just need to, and I'm just thinking aloud here, let my resin set up for more than 10 minutes. Maybe I can push it to, push it to like 15 minutes next time, and then maybe to 20, just to see if I can get the, the center to be clear. We got some light there. That's better. Oh, look at that. We've got some light. That's a better color. Really pretty. Go again with some better light. Or have you had enough? <laughs> oh dear. Oops. I touched the autofocus and we lost the light. You can't have everything. You can't have autofocus and light. All right. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for the unmolding. Good morning, good morning, I'm back. And look at this. They look amazing. Now, there's some really unusual little features going on in this one. Uh, the one that I started with up here, it had a lot more blue on it. And then by the time I got down here, it didn't have very much of the blue to go around the edge. So this one's actually they're quite different, depending on how much blue I put in and this one here I put in extra white because you know how the puddle was going that way and then I poured some more on so this one's got more white so they're all a little bit different but I want to show you this one Let's get this out come out oh look it comes out so easily let's just pop that out I want to show you okay here we go put you on autofocus look at that look at the pretty little features see down the bottom there like what is that oh my gosh i don't even know what that is i like little dendrites and got a slight translucent center there not a lot but hey it's better than nothing but just look at those unusual little things that have been happening in there Let's have a look at the back. Oh, not much, not much to see on the back. The edges are pretty again, but um, the white is just, I guess because white, even in acrylic pouring, white is your opaque color. It's really quite a dense color. So 
I like the edges, but I definitely use that side. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let's put you there. All right, let's do the next one. I'll try and be quick. Try and be quick. I've got my glove on one hand so that I don't get fingerprints on. Come on, out you come, little baby. It's like giving birth. Look at that. There's another one. Now this was the one that had the extra white in it. So there's a lot more white just there. Really pretty little translucent center there. Again, not much chop on the back. I do like that though. Now it's got a slight little lip um, because I didn't fill my mold so that it was kind of mm, doming. Um, when you look across it, you can see how it's kind of rounded, which means you don't get a lip. But look, it's easy enough to just sand. Um, and it's not it's not bad enough that I need um, a Dremel. I just use my little emery board and just sand those. Um, those of you that have been following me know that I had a bit of a reaction to... Um, I don't know if it's almost gone now. A bit of a reaction to the resin dust and I didn't realize that you know resin dust on your skin was dangerous I just thought oh yeah you can't you know you can't breathe the dust in I was wearing a mask I was sitting outside um, I didn't have long sleeves on though um, and just kind of you know brushed the dust off and thought yep all good went about my business but um, I have now learned that resin dust can cause a reaction I don't know if that's everybody or whether it's just me but be on the safe side wear long sleeves wear your gloves and definitely wear your mask because you don't want to breathe it in. Look at that. So yeah, learned the hard way, <laughs> as we do. I just thought, oh, you can't touch wet resin, you know, obviously. So I wear my gloves, but never knew that the dust could do that. I oh, love that. Look at that effect. That's so pretty. All right, let's get on with these, hey? Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. Um, I am going to... I'm going to stay there. I'm going to paint the edges with... I really like this. The um, Humbrol, Humbrol enamel. This one is called Chrome. It's a metallic. It's really shiny. So I'm going to paint the edges with that. Oh, I'm so impressed with my molds, you guys. Look, they just pop out so easily. Yay. Very happy. I am in the process of making another mold just because these are a little bit... Oh, they're, not, they're not too thick actually I thought maybe they were a little bit too thick but but I do like those rocky kind of edges that you get from a homemade mold I do need to make up a little bit more resin when I'm using this size see I don't get that lip there now this one has got a little bit more blue in it so still got a few of these little cute features happening but it's got more blue than um, the previous one had Pop you there. I hope they're all going to sit up there and not fall down like a domino effect. I'll try and get you out without knocking everything over. Whoops. I'm trying not to knock my little... Those are little um, plate stands that I got on eBay. I get everything on eBay. I'm an eBay holic. So this one's got a lot more of the, the dark blue around the edges there. So I don't know which ones I like more. Do I like the ones more that have got the more of the blue or do I prefer the ones that have got the more of the white? But hey, it is what it is. Um, I've got some that have got more blue and then some that have got more more white. Just um, we'll go around the back of the table, just depending on how much blue I put in. Because when I started up here, as I said, I had more blue. And then the other ones, I ran out of blue, so I didn't have much blue left. So that's it there again. Got a little bit of this white coming over the top. And I was uh, I was looking at the video again and I'm thinking, okay, so you know how I put the blue on and then I put the puddle of white and then the white went and touched the blue. And then when I poured the clear over, that white came across the top. And, I, and that's what's given me this little wispiness there. So I must remember next time I'm going to try and put the blue on first, put my puddle down and then put the clear on real quick 
and so it spreads and see how that goes rather than doing each one in blue and then each one in white and then each one in clear so I'm going to try that just because I don't really like how that's gone over there but I mean I'm just being very picky aren't I so there we go and again same on the back got my little clear center that I like so I'm going to go and um, sand the lips of these a little bit I'm going to coat them in silver and um, I will show you the finished result very soon stay tuned <laughs>